Okay, today we're going to solve the inequality using interval notation. Our problem today is negative 6a plus 8 is less than or equal to negative 4 times a plus 6. Here's the original problem once again. And we are going to first use order of operations to distribute the negative 4 onto the a and the 6. All right, and then, then our problem becomes negative 6a plus 8 is less than or equal to negative 4a minus 24. All right, next we're going to combine the like terms. So we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. Our problem then becomes negative 6 a less than or equal to negative 4a minus 32. We still have more like terms to combine, so we're going to add 4a to both sides. We are going to get negative 2a is less than or equal to negative 32. All right, we'll move on to the next slide. Okay, so we still have negative 2a is less than or equal to negative 32. All right, we're going to divide by negative 2 on both sides. Now, as you can see, we have a warning sign right here. That's because when you divide by a negative number, you need to flip the sign. So we're going to have a is now greater than or equal to 16. All right, after we get now we have a by itself, we need to make our graph line. And we'll put our numbers on here, 15, 16, 17, and 18. All right. Since it's um, a uh, greater than or equal sign, we're going to need to use brackets on the 16. And A is greater than, so our line will be going this way. And that's what our, t and that's what our line graph looks like. Um, next, we are going to put it in interval notation. We're going to use our bracket again. And it's going to be 16, comma... And then it goes, A goes all the way to infinity. So we can put a parenthesis after the infinity. And that's our problem. Bracket, 16, comma, infinity, parenthesis.